Good morning. My name is Skate, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> but I didn't start out that way. In 1996, I was living in Atlanta, Georgia. And I had applied through the lottery for a couple Olympic tickets. And by a couple, I mean a ton. And surprisingly, most of them came through. So, for two weeks, I quit my job, and I went out and enjoyed myself. I went to 29 different Olympic events. I went out every night. I was partying in clubs where I knew the bouncers, and I just got straight in without waiting in line. I was literally having a once-in-a-lifetime experience. What, what, what can be in that? I had no idea that I would become an Olympic holic at this time. Three years later, I was living in Bermuda, and my roommate from Atlanta was living in Sydney, Australia. He calls me up to skate. I just landed UPS as a major client and huge sponsor for the Olympics. He said, get your ass on a flight and get over here because you're completely hooked up when you get here. <laughs> so I started thinking to myself, well, I had a great time in Atlanta. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Hooked up. It's a no brainer, right? Well, I went to Sydney, and from day one, it was just full. My friend had a little flat about halfway between Bondi Beach, where some of the Olympic events were going on, like beach volleyball, and the downtown area. I was right on the bus line, so it was easy to go either place. Now, UPS is a sponsor was in charge of putting on the fireworks every night above Darling Harbor. And as part of his, his package, he worked out a deal where he got two berths in the harbor, and he contracted with a ship rental service, I suppose, to put a small yacht at one of the berths. So every evening, didn't matter where we were that day, what we'd been up to, he and I, his brother, and a bunch of other friends, would all gather on this yacht to watch the fireworks go off directly above. And of course it was a full bar of the yacht. <laughs> After that, we would walk a block over and go to a private club. Now this was set up as an athletes and VIP club. At the beginning of the games, there weren't that many people there. It was rather empty. But as the games progressed, more and more people in the club every night, and you start seeing people wearing their medals now. Mm -hmm. Golds and silvers walking around, hanging out at the bar. Pretty crazy experience. In Sydney, I went to, I don't know, another 20-some different events. It just seemed like whatever event I wanted to find or go to, there were tickets available. It was really easy. Toward the end of the games, we went to a private concert, well actually it wasn't a private concert, it was a concert with a VIP area that was also set up through UPS. And we're hanging out there, and my roommate's brother turns to me and says, hey, do you know who that guy is over there? I look at this rather overweight, plain looking guy, I said, no idea. I said, that's Rulon Gardner. I says, that guy just beat the Russian for the gold medal in wrestling. The guy, the Russian, has never lost. So we wander over and start talking to Rulon. Down to earth guy. Completely unknown, really, outside of the small wrestling community. And came from nowhere to win a gold medal. And here I am, standing there, with a gold medal in my hand as I'm chatting with this guy. <laughs> and I realized this, this Olympic experience is more than just going to a couple of events. It's meeting these people, it's being at these things, it's realizing people's dreams and aspirations. It's truly an incredible experience. And that's where I was hooked. That's how I became an Olympaholic. Since then, I've been to Athens. In fact, I was living here and I had a job. <laughs> I had a job that basically the company was insolvent and so my job disappeared. I decided, well, can't work anymore, might as well go to Greece. <laughs> I went there for the entire summer. I spent the time on a little Greek island, worked a couple days a week, 
And then, when the Olympics came along, went to Athens for two weeks and had a crazy time. I remember running into the women's soccer team after they won their gold medal and going out and clubbing with them. Again, holding gold medal in my hand. Truly crazy experiences. Beijing came up. I wasn't going to go. It was a last minute thing. I had frequent flyer miles. I thought, well, why not? I'll take a week off work, fly halfway across the world. I got to see Michael Phelps win his eighth gold medal. Another truly amazing experience. And all for a once in a lifetime opportunity. Again, that's how I became a little more. Thanks. Mm -hmm.